Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 21st of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. What I'm going to do is give you a broad overview of what to expect, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts. Now this week begins with the Sun finding its way in its new home of Aries. This obviously gives us an opportunity for a sense of renewal, for getting on the front foot with fresh plans or revitalising the strands that are ongoing with greater energy and enthusiasm. So really exciting stuff. But of course the ruler of the sign of Aries is Mars and that's in sector 11 uh, alongside Venus in the sign of Aquarius. And Mars comes into a direct and exact right angle with Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, the modern ruler of Aquarius, on Tuesday. Now, therefore, it could be a restless start to this week. Mars squaring Uranus can make us a bit more impatient, more easily frustrated with limitations. It could see us experiencing a greater consciousness about those people who share different values to us. We may be more impulsive about spending money. Also, someone could try to dominate us and restrict our freedoms, but equally uh, we can push back on any restrictions that are trying to be imposed on us. So that's an interesting combination. At the heart of this week, also Mercury, in its uh, debilitated journey through Pisces, uh, combines with Neptune. Now this is absolutely awesome if we want to embrace the more spiritual dimension, to do some meditation or perhaps some creative writing or listen to some really enchanting music, but it can make it more difficult to grapple with details. So our concentration could be affected a little bit at the heart of this week. However, later in the week, Mercury moves forwards to forge a very penetrating link with Pluto. Pluto in the sign of Capricorn for that little while longer. It's moving into Aquarius next year, 23, for two, nearly two and a half months. And then we'll go into Aquarius in 24 for a longer stay. But that combination between Mercury and Pluto can give Mercury in Pisces, which can be very uh, mutable, can give it a bit more shape. So excellent for thinking behind the scenes of situations, do a bit of probing or research. But Friday's quarter moon also occurs in the sign of Capricorn. And of course, like Aries, this is a cardinal sign, very much about leadership. And I think the energy of the sun in Aries is quite immediate. It's, it's focused on what it wants to do in the here and now. Whereas the energy of Capricorn is more about the long established uh, ways that things are structured. So it can be like having to deal with uh, someone in, in a position of authority, like a line manager. It could be an institution, a governmental agency, and we may encounter some frustration. If something we want to do that's new and fresh and exciting somehow receives less than enthusiastic support from someone who's part of the establishment, if you like. But that Aries energy is given a significant boost on Sunday when Mercury, the planet of thought and talk, moves into this sign and that gives it much more fire, much more thrust. And I think that whole uh, feeling of a new beginning is definitely going to be rejuvenated even more. Now, please stay with me for your uh, in-depth horoscope forecast, but if you are new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. If you'd also like to rise above zodiac uh, astrology and understand more about your own personal situation, you can take advantage of my special offer of character analysis and a 12-month forecast. Get 30% off. No two charts are the same, and it will give you searing insights for the months ahead. If you'd like to get your free daily written horoscope fire to your device each morning, please see the link beneath this video too, where you can subscribe for that. Hello Gemini, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 21st of March. The sun has now moved 
into the 11th house of your situation. The sun in Aries is, of course, very much about uh, initiation. It's about uh, drive and passion. It's fire, of course. But for you, the 11th house is rather like the energy of Aquarius, which is collective. It's about your communications in groups, how you network, and that ability you have as being a very effective communicator is going to be given an awesome platform over the next four weeks. But particularly from the end of this week, when your ruler joins up with the sun in Aries. Before then, Mercury merges with Neptune. Neptune is the planet of mystique, of dreams, of spirituality, but it can be a very dissolving and distorting influence around logic. And of course, your planet relies very much on logic. So if you're having any big conversations of a professional nature this week, it is going to be important to keep your message very clear. Also, Mars is in a rather a brittle and abrasive right angle with Uranus. And Uranus is in your 12th house, Mars, along with Venus, the ninth house of knowledge. Maybe something gets discussed this week or comes up and it could just press a little bit of a reactive button within you, particularly if someone's presenting some information to you that you don't feel is right with that Neptune conjunction with Mercury. The good news is that later this week, Mercury goes on to forge a very positive strategic angle with Pluto. And if you do need to understand a financial matter, a business proposition, clarity will start to come your way as the week goes on. But the quarter moon on Friday sees the sun in Aries in a right angle with Pluto. Pluto in your eighth house of longer term resources, where you're most devoted and invested. It can be very much about intimate relationships, even sex, Pluto in the eighth, or just about long-term financial uh, rewards. So there could be a bit of a clash between your desire to go about things in the way you wish, perhaps you know in a more idealistic way, and the reality of a financial situation may become more crunchingly obvious as this week draws to a close. But once Mercury moves into your sign, I think you're really going to start to come onto top form, greater clarity and speed of thought and dexterity and agility in the way you marshal all your talents is going to become much more evident as we start week commencing the 28th. Mm -hmm.